All right, hey everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome to Judgment. It's the, uh, well, I'd say it's the latest. I guess it came out a couple months ago in Japan. Uh, but it's made by the Yakuza people. And honestly, I'd like to try the Yakuza games, but they're really long. Like, all of them are really long. And that kind of puts a damper on things just because I'm a really busy dude. And then I saw this game, like, today, and I was like, oh, sweet. It's a Yakuza game, but not. Huh. Play a local opponent in one of three mini games. I might bug you. Uh, shell about that. Okay, I want to take a couple of looks at things. See, smartphone settings, speaker type, stereo, front. Really hoping I could actually change weight controller volume. I'm going to turn that off. No matter what, that's going to sound awful. Other text language is English, audio language is. Yeah, okay, good. Anything else? Minimap display, subtitles, subtitle display, blood level. Perfect! Alright, nothing major. And what are we gonna do? Pressing square in battle will automatically perform complex moves with ease. I'm just gonna play normal. Uh, it's. I'm in a dark room. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit because YouTube always butchers things. But not autosave. Yes! Obviously. Yes. Yes, I understand completely. We'll absolutely be able to help you out with that. I guarantee you. Oh, you must be talking about Yagami. Absolutely. We appreciate any interest you might have. But it's just, uh... Must be so nice to be a rock star. Right, Salary Chan? Gendala, sorry speaking. Yes, Yagami is currently employed by our firm. Same bullshit all day. Guess everyone wants a lawyer who can win, huh? Yagami Sensei? Hey, throw me a bone. I never would have won without a hand from these two. Of course you wouldn't have. 99% of these cases end up in convictions. It makes an acquittal a big deal, even if it was just luck. Talk about a lawyer being a hero. Makes even a former gangster look good. <laughs> Guess so. Wipe that grin off your face. You think you're better than us? I'm no saint. Shh. Could have fooled me. You know, you're not gonna win all of them. Trust me, pal. My record's not... Are you listening? Of course. I get the message. Hmm. Well... Shintani's available right now. Yeah, you bet. He's more experienced. Are you hearing that? No, no. Now I'm getting I, uh, tossed your goddamn leftovers. <sighs> Shut up, man. Okay, and you're sure? He's as skilled as they come, trust me. But well, that no. just can't be right. He hasn't won any cases. You know how rare that is. <sighs> Haven't you heard 99.9% .9 of criminal court cases end with the defendant behind bars? Pretty ridiculous, huh? right? What? Well, you still want Yagami, though. Man, I am so done. Hey! Can it? Yes. Yes. And you're absolutely sure. I understand. I'll tell him. Who was that? Another call for Yagami Sensei. Big whoop. But the client is Shinpei Okubo. Mm. Huh? Not sure I believe that. Ogobo's a free man now. Not anymore. He's been arrested for murder. 
Come on. We already proved he was innocent, right? It's a new case. He's being processed right now. What they told me is that he stabbed his girlfriend Emmy to death, set the apartment on fire. Okubo would never do that. <sighs> Stabbing Emmy John. I just don't understand it. Okubo. That day, my career as a lawyer died alongside Emi-chan. Both murdered by Shinpei Okubo. Come in, Kaito-san. Are you getting close yet? Yep. Right by the Don Quixote. Heading your way now. You just about see our man? Yep, I got him. He doesn't have a clue, huh? Ah, you're getting good at this. Almost like a pro. Wow, thanks. I always dreamed of being a professional stalker. <laughs> Not sure I'd call it that. You gotta admit, this is crazy, though. A detective tailing another detective? You only see that shit on TV. Crazy or not, stay focused. Join up with you soon. Okay. <laughs> Step aside, old man. Piece of goddamn trash. Hey, asshole, he said move! Huh? The fuck are you doing? What? Now, you wanna die, bitch? The hell is his problem? <sighs> What's going on back there, buddy? Uh, looks like I need to teach these punks a little lesson. Need to? Didn't you tell me to keep my head down? Hey, who you call punks, you homeless piece of shit? Huh? <laughs> Sorry, Kaito. I'll see you soon, okay? <sighs> so much for being careful. <laughs> Get a load of him! Man, you seeing this shit? <laughs> okay, my boy's a movie star. What? What? How's that? <laughs> <laughs> You're a damn joke. Now let's do this thing! Okay, I'm pretty into this. Okay. Huh. 
Okay, got it. Hold L1 to guard against incoming attacks. Guarding is particularly important for surviving tough fights, since the game will end when you run out of health. Furthermore, blocking enemies leaves them open to attack, so be sure to put your guard up when necessary. Do they all have their own na- they all have- Wow. Any of you want to block me? Or attack me? Come on. Take a swing. Well, that didn't work. At some point I will learn to block. For now I'm just gonna kick the shit out of this man. I don't think I can knock him down, but boy, can I give him all sorts of injuries. Any of you, you wanna... I should probably actually work on timing these things. Okay. Attack enemies to charge up the EX gauge. The top left of the corner of the screen, having at least one segment of EX charge will allow you to use EX actions. Whenever triangle EX action pops up on screen, such as when an enemy is knocked down, grab near wall holding weapon. Press triangle and unleash one of the many EX actions in your arsenal. Stop. <laughs> Hello. Well. Excuse me. I was kind of... <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. Oh, kiss that manhole cover. Where were we keeping that leather jacket? How'd we get rid of the beard? Kaito-san, where's our guy going? On his way towards Pink Street. Crowd's thinning out. Get your ass over here. Got it. And make it quick. Any minute now, he's gonna figure out I'm shadowing him. Well, I'm enjoying this thoroughly. I guess I know what I'm doing tomorrow. He went towards Pink Street. Should check the map and get my bearings. Okay, over here. Uh, close map. Make it over there. Okay, X while moving to sprint. Keep sprinting. No need to hold it down. Why are we in first person mode? Okay, there we go. That is a comically oversized traffic cone. Yeah, he's on to me. Good luck, Tuck. It's all you now. Really? I need more time. Just get your ass over here. If we lose him, it's on you. Well, that's just rude. Okay, so... He's not gonna pass by. What did the detective look like again? Should probably take another look at our sketch. Okay, wow, that's a nice sketch. It's pretty unique. Interesting jacket, too. Is a distinctive mole on his face, five o'clock shadow, and something else. It's the kind of face that someone not used to this city might feel intimidated by. Okay, I'm gonna see if anyone fits the bill. Hailing search mode. In this mode, you must locate your target based off the characteristics. You cannot ex exit first person view. Find the person who matches the traits displayed on the right. If you find anyone suspicious, hover over and hold R2 to observe them more closely. X will examine display. Verify if they're a match. If they are, you find your mark. Time to start failing. Hey. No more. Okay, well, it's none of these guys. Huh. 
Is it? Hmm. And it could be that guy. The... Yeah, it's this guy. Found him. Finally. Thought you were never gonna catch up, man. Sorry. Well, this has got some style. <laughs> the creepy just eye movement. I love it. You'd think you'd make less noise when moving. Tailing. When you make some kind of commotion that could attract the target's attention, the caution gaze at the top will fill. If it reaches its limit, you'll fail the mission. If you're about to get noticed. Take cover behind a building or put more distance between yourself and the target. We'll start to go down once you've successfully avoided detection. Dungeon timer will display at the top right if you lose sight. Locate it before it reaches zero. Okay. Target may start to act more cautiously if they suddenly have an inkling that they're being watched. They see you. If the target sees you when this happens, caution gauge will start spiking. Failure to get out of sight will cost you the mission. Like, won't be able to find you while you're taking cover, so press circle to hide behind cover. How does he... <laughs> How does he not notice that? You won't be able to move while hiding, so find the right time to emerge by pressing circle. The target doesn't completely slip away. Well, this is kind of fun. Yeah, like I was kind of saying earlier, I'm a huge fan of Sleeping Dogs. It was one of the first games I ever covered on my channel, and I really enjoyed it. But obviously we've never had like a proper follow-up. There was going to be Triad Wars, but that was a stupid freaking idea, and I'm glad it never came to be. And I've been kind of hoping we get another one, but if I remember hey, right, they- Hey, you! It's high time you pay all the rent you owe. I just need a little longer, okay? Just one more week. Another week? I am done warning you. Yes, I assure you. It better be. Bye for now, then. Oh, that was close. Let's see. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Square Enix, I think it was Square Enix, shuttered the studio too, so there's like no chance we're ever going to see like another one. Which is a bit of a shame, but at the same time, this already is evoking very similar feelings. The combat is a little bit more freeform, which I kind of enjoy, uh, but it definitely has that like immersive city feel. Hopefully there's less driving segments though. Good god. I, w I enjoyed the driving segments in Sleeping Dogs, but it just added too much time. I'd love to go to Japan someday to actually see it in person. I play all these video games that kind of show it off in interesting ways, but I can't imagine it compares at all to, like, reality. I love the anime. Well, I was gonna say I love the huh? animations. Someone call me. I'm not losing them. There's just no hiding spots. God damn it. Being 
paranoid. This is kind of awkward. I think I should have found another hiding spot behind him previously. The hell. I think he's doubling back or something like that. Real awkward. I don't do tailing in like any game ever, so it's kind of not in my wheelhouse. He's heading for the champion district. Oh, great. We're never going to find him in that maze. Probably why he's going there. Thankfully, we can always follow him from above. Yeah? Wanna break out the pigeon? Just try to head him off, Kaito-san. Be ready. On it. Oh, and try not to get carried away. Can't afford to get that thing fixed again. Yeah, yeah. Just don't lose him. Hopefully there aren't too many tailing missions. I mean, they're probably... they're not so bad. It's better than, like, Spider-Man-esque stealth session, sections, maybe? Maybe, I don't know. I guess it really depends on, like, how challenging it becomes. Huh? Someone call me? How? Am I hiding behind that pole successfully? But yeah, I do like this. I, I hate to use the word cinematic, but it does actually have that, like, kind of cinematic-esque feel. I haven't watched a whole lot of noir or crime drama things in a long time. Most of it became, like, CSI and whatnot. Just ducked into an empty lot, Kaito-san. Dead end. We follow him, we blow our cover. What do you think he's doing in there? Probably meeting someone he doesn't want to be seen with. Makes sense. Pigeon's up. Can you see it? Hold on. But active search mode. Active search mode is used when investigating crime scenes, checking facts, and scouring for evidence. You'll operate in first-person view during this mode. Use the objectives displayed on the right of the screen to help you figure out what you need to investigate. There are times when you must stand in place and observe the area without moving around. Move the cross arrows over the suspicious areas. Hold R2 to hone in on them. Examine will appear if there's something you should check out. Okay. Examine various pieces of evidence to satisfy all the objectives to complete your investigation. Suspicious. That's no pigeon. That's a cat. Anything else for me to check out? I like it how it gave me extra points specifically for it. Anyway. Hey. There it is. Hold on. I'll send a feed to your phone. Nice flying, Kaito-san. Keep it steady. You've been practicing? Now's not a good time, Talk. Gotta concentrate. Hmm. There's another guy in there with him. So he is meeting someone. Hey, I know that guy. He's a bookie for horse races. Trying to gamble his way to paying off debts, huh? Because that always works. Yeah, well, if they came all the way out here just to meet, we must have the cash on him. Mm -hmm. We'll get what we need if we move now. You remember what we're doing here, right? Collecting the debt that detective owns. Oh, I get it. This is our chance. Just relax. And let me do my thing, okay? You got it, Talk. Don't fuck it up. So, I really want to play a Phoenix Wright crossover made by these people.
Like, holy shit, they do a great job with it. Unfortunately, they're Sega, not Capcom. Which is unfortunate. Nice night, huh, detective? Huh? I hear the bookies in Kamurocho make some pretty good deals. You win 10% more, you lose 10% less. They make it sound so enticing. Maybe I should get in on it. Hey, where are you going? Don't you need your money? What the hell is this? Who are you? I'm here to get my client's money back. Before you lose it on another horse. So they hired a thug to collect. Should I be impressed you found me? A thug? Well, that's not very nice. You and I are in the same business. You're a detective? Afraid so. I hear you're pretty hard to get a hold of. That's why the people you owe came to me. Look, I know you have the money on you. You can't get out of this. Just do us both a favor and pay up. Don't put up a fight. <laughs> well, you're right. I have the money. But look, I'll pay everything back after I win big on this next race. Just wait, okay? Are you serious? I didn't track you down just so you could... Maybe next time! Whoa! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Cut us off. He's making a run for it. I saw. Where are you going, little guy? Damn it. Get back here! Okay, when a target runs, well, so do you. Navigate the city without bumping into obstacles by performing the prompted stick and button inputs correctly to catch up with your target. So, quick time events, yay. The distance gauge tracks how far away the target needs to get before you lose them. Now, do I, okay, I do have to steer. I'm so bad at these. It's been a long time since I've done any kind of major. Whoop. I was not expecting that. I guess I. Well. I will be better at this eventually. Wow. That man has some arms. If I threw a bike, it would make it four feet. Okay, capture fleeing targets by pressing circle as soon as you get close enough. Here, try capturing this target right now. to learn when to quit shut up I have it all figured out I'll get the money okay Yagami can utilize two distinct combat styles crane and tiger Crane is particularly effective against large groups. This tiger is most effective against a single opponent. I'm not done yet. One, two, three, four. Nope. I gotta figure out which are the uh, particularly effective combos. I mean, I'm stun locking this guy into a sad corner. Well, I mean, I could fight him correctly. 
Well, <laughs> I got him with a headbutt. Where'd that crowd go? I don't get it. Didn't you say you were a detective? What's your name? I never said I'd field any questions, asshole. It's Yagami. Take a good look. Now do you believe me? So... Let's be civil here. Just hand over the cash, okay? 150 grand sound good? Back the fuck off. You running some kind of racket here? I'll sue you. Oh, yeah? You gonna sue? The fuck do you think you are? Huh? Hold on, Kaito-san. The hell? You're not a detective asshole, you're fucking Yakuza! Oh yeah? Guess you know what'll happen if you don't pay up there! Hey, ease up, Kaito-san. I'm sure he doesn't want to piss you off anymore. I said all right! I love his shirt. Listen here, asshole. I'm gonna sue your ass into the goddamn ground. You see this? You broke my fucking nose. <laughs> Don't be so melodramatic. I think we both know who threw the first punch. No, no way I'm gonna let that slide. Just you watch, you'll see the court's gonna... Huh? But that's... A lawyer's badge. So you're not a detective. And? You still want to sue? You know, you won't know what hit you. That was pretty damn styling. I really want that Phoenix Wright Yaku uh, Phoenix Wright game made by these people. It'd be amazing. Like, obviously, maybe no combat, but just, like, the everything else? It'd be, like, the easiest crossover to make. This is cheesy as hell. Yeah, I love it, though. I can't wait to play more. Those badges are tiny, though. That's such a Phoenix Wright move, too. It's like, check up my badge. <laughs> be the gumshoe side of the story. Dude, I'd be fine with that. Playing as gumshoe, working working with Phoenix or something like that. Gee, oh man, so it'd be gumshoe running around the world, but every once in a while you'd have like, uh, legal segments where you, uh, you have to like, do the court case as usual. But it'd be like, fully rendered 3D or something. I don't know, it'd be beautiful. I'm looking forward, forward to playing more of this. I realize that uh, we're not going to get half of what I want. But I know in the trailer it actually had him doing, like, an objection. So I'm pretty sure they made this very... Uh... Huh. They made this very cognizant of of the Phoenix Wright series, which I'm looking forward to it. God damn. These are really lifelike 3D models. Like, they don't animate that well, but... They really do look lifelike. It's creepy. That was a stylish intro. I like this. place for a night out a neon city 
But the brighter the lights, the darker the shadows. The whole town's run by the toughest Yakuza family out there, the Tojo clan. And the deeper you dig, the more interesting things get. More dangerous, too. Take this burglary ring. Just a bunch of kids looking for kicks. Word is, they met on some sketchy website. Never even seen each other's faces. As for the cops, they can't catch a single one. The only thing anyone really cares about in Kamurocho these days, though, is the murders. Over three months, three Kansai Yakuza have turned up dead. Most think it's the Tojo clan, making some kind of power move in the ongoing turf war. <clears throat> this one's missing its eyes, too. <clears throat> That's not the only thing, though. All three of them were missing their eyes. It's in one little corner of this city that I run a detective agency. I work alongside my partner, Kaito-san. Funny enough, he's ex-Tojo. And me? I'm Takayuki Yagami. Used to be a lawyer, but I put that life behind me three years ago. As for my badge, it's barely even a decoration at this point. blind mice this has got some style damn that's grubby and gross here I'll scrounge up the rest for you later. What about your cut? I'll get it eventually. All of this goes to the client. Gotcha. Anyway, I'm gonna swing by Genda Sensei's place. See if he's got any work. Don't hold your breath. For a lawyer's office, things are slow as shit over there. Uh, you're aware they're one of our best clients, right? Yeah, yeah, I know you used to work there and all. But don't show up empty-handed. Here, buy him some sweets or something. At least go through the motions. So generous. My boy's all grown up. Don't mention it, Dad. Now get going. Well, this is fun. I think we'll play more of this tomorrow. Ah, I'm just bouncing off of everything now. That's fine. How do I save? Oh, save. There we go. Saw it. Perfect. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm getting a splitting headache, so I can't go any further. But that's fine, because honestly, I'd rather play this when I'm awake tomorrow than try and force it now. But, uh, hot dang, this is good. Hot dang, this is real fun. Can't wait, wait to play more. I think I've already said that this... How do, you, how do you get through here smoothly? I guess you walk behind him. I'm gonna just careen off this office constantly, and that's just gonna be how it goes. Well, that's normal. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.